Okay, so right now I will show you exactly how you can add the weather widget to the home screen of your iPhone. Now it is pretty simple to do. You have some built-in options as well as third-party ones. So let me just begin with, with the um, built-in. So anywhere that you are on the home screen, what you have to do is just to hold down with your finger until all of the apps just starts to shake like that. That is when you edit them or go to the edit mode. Now at the top, you can see the plus icon as well as the done button. So click on plus and you will get to this section of all of the widgets. At the top, you have the search bar where you can search through all of them one by one using the name and using the keyboard, or you can scroll through the suggestions trying to find if you see anything that you like. If not, scroll a bit further and there's the list of all of the available apps. These are sorted alphabetically, so the weather is going to be all the way at the bottom. So I'm just going to click on weather and you have some options in terms of the sizing. So you can choose the forecast, but it can be in the small box or the small square. It can be in this larger rectangular format or in this huge format, which is taking up almost like more than half of the screen real estate. So I'm not sure if I would recommend you that, but it's up to you, of course. Once you just choose it, click on add widget, it's gonna appear on the home screen. For me, it doesn't really do much because I don't have the location enabled. If you wanna customize the widget, however, just hold down on it like this and click on edit widget. This is gonna flip it over in the nice animation and it will present you with one option for the location, which is quite useful to change it up. So my location, does not work so i can switch it to any other city which i have available in here so it can be my location as i said but i can for example choose it to be berlin right now it is berlin and when i exit this view you can see that it loads up and it tells me exactly the weather and the highest temperature the lowest and yeah i can customize it one thing though in case you don't see the town among the list right here you can also search through it but in case you just don't even have for example you cannot find it in here. Just have to look it up and search for a different location, which is not part of that list. It's gonna be like in the other location settings. So like that, you can switch to Dubai, for example. And also if you wanna customize the temperature, for example, for me, it is Fahrenheit and I live in Europe. We didn't really use that. So in case I wanna switch it to Celsius, I cannot do it within the weather app. I have to do it, however, through the settings. So I'm gonna open up the settings go to the general section and at the bottom I'm going to be able to see the uh, language and region and here is the option to change the temperature that you want to use for your entire iPhone so it doesn't matter if it's going to be in weather or in other services this is how it works now when you come back it should revert it so it should definitely get you the proper temperature so yeah you can see it's 28 right now so yeah it switched over it's from the Fahrenheit to Celsius but also, as I mentioned, this is not the only way how you can add a weather widget. Besides that, there are many third-party apps available which you can download on the App Store. For example, you can literally just look up the weather as a word. The first one is the official from Apple, but there are so many other available. For example, the weather channel, but I believe that Apple is getting the uh, or the information from this service. so. If you have the official one, it's going to be the same, but perhaps different widgets. You have to try it out. And the way that you try it out is by downloading the app and seeing if there are any widgets available. So for example, this already shows you that yes, it offers lock screen widgets as well as probably home screen widgets. So we'll see, but if they don't say it or show it, you don't really know if they support widgets or not. So all you have to do is just to install the app and try to add a new widget one more time and find the specific app that you just downloaded. So it was the weather channel, so I open it up. And again, it has multiple different options and it supports widgets, so that's good as well. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap up the video right now. That's all the stuff that you need to know about it. However, if you wanna know much more about your iPhones in general, definitely click the link down below in the description. And inside you're gonna find like the um, Fox Tech educational platform, which I created, and you can join it for free. As I said, link is below in the description. And you can watch some content about iPhone, in-depth guides, as well as 
video editing courses. Really good stuff, so go ahead and join right now, and I will see you inside. For now, just subscribe to Foxtag, hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you later in the future.